Okay, um, hello guys, Take the Tutorials here, and today I'm going to be doing a kind of an update, updated tutorial on PP, PPSSPP and how to play online, how to play games with PPSPP online. Now before um, the last video, um, which was the previous video, um, this is the original tutorial, everyone was complaining on well, not everyone, but most people were complaining on how quiet the audio was, and you know, and I can understand that when I watched the video back, it was very, very, very hard to listen, um, very, very, very hard to hear my voice. So, I got a new microphone and everything, new headset, and I'm hoping that it will be much better so you can hear it. And I won't try to make this uh, tutorial much clearer, so can be it might be slightly longer than the other one so anyway let's get on with the tutorial so first of all if you're the one who's going to be hosting the the server so you're going to require an extra file or folder actual extra program called adduct server pro online so i'm going to obviously i'm going to provide it again to download for this and when you are hosting the server, you're gonna re it's, it's required for you to um, have this online. So, yeah. So this must be online every time you wanna you want your friends to join. Otherwise, it won't work. Obviously, it won't work for you either. I think. And the other one is you need the updated version of PPSPP. I think 0 0.6 is the last version, the latest version that will that supports online anything below that will not so yeah so before you open one of the prerequisites for a server to work is in PPSPP let me see if you go to settings make sure for the system and then make sure enable networking the slash WLAN is online it's on, sorry, what the fuck. There, yeah. So, with the new version, you can actually change everything from here. Because before you had to go into the mem stick and then go here and then change everything in the INI folder, that's no longer a problem. You could just change it over here. Like I did, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, you know. And you can change the address. And in here, so you want to go to the IP address and you want to open Hamachi or any other uh, v VPN kind of software but I would recommend Hamachi it's the best so this is the MHFU server I have and you want to copy this and if you're the host um, you want uh, you're the one that um, will provide the IPv4 address so this and paste it in and everyone else has the same exact one as you so if you're the host make sure everyone has this so if I, I'm the host I'm normally the host anyway so I have to give this to everyone so there press ok and then go to MAC address and make sure your MAC address is different from everyone on the server so I think PPSPP for my knowledge I think it can only hold up to two people well for Emmett for Muslim and Freedom Unite yeah, we can only hold up to two people. So make sure both of you have different MAC addresses. So yeah, I have zero one zero two zero three zero four zero five zero six. He can have like zero six zero one zero three, but stuff like that. Uh, press OK, and everything else you can change if you want. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, when you go into the game. Let me just show you. So make sure this is all online and he's online. My friend right here, he's not online right now, but make sure he's going to be online. He has to be online for it to work. And like I said, so make sure this is... Uh, close this now. Um, go here. Whoa. Okay, okay. Go here. And turn this on. And can now you can minimize all of this. Turn on the game. Just gonna speed up right now. Do, do, do.
do 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 Just gonna choose this. So I don't know if I've unlocked online or anything, I don't know. I think I have yeah, because I have the bone sword. Um So you press circle to go in. Uh, choose the gathering hall. Make sure you go into the bo bo both of you go into the same gathering hall, and you should be you should be online. And this will come up. If it does come up, then make sure you press allow access. Otherwise, you, sh you might not be able to go online. And that's it. So now this um, this uh, thing, this method is specific for MHFU because of how you actually go into a, a quest with your friends so if one of you is have I've already um, got the quest and you obviously go to the quest board and you get the quest when you go here when when the quest leader um, you know blows the horn and everything and you've already done the departure, com you've completed the departure thing then both of you have to put the speed down to 25% so that requires you to go into game settings and let's see so from here alternate speed has to be 25% and obviously assign that to a button if you're on if you're using a controller then obviously use a um, Button. My one is R2 on the PS3 controller. Uh, no, no, it's not R2. It's um, R3. So I click the analog, and that puts the speed all the way down to 25%. And both of you have to do this, otherwise, uh, one of you will detach from the group. And if you both, if both of you do it, then you should be able to, you should be, you should be fine. Like I said, it's. I think maybe with a new update, maybe they've. Um, I did support for more than two people, but last time I checked, it was only it only worked for two people. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if they if you have, if you have any questions, make sure you um, put them down below. I'll try my hardest to answer them. And I hope that you were able to hear this because uh, last time it was kind of the voice was kind of like masked by the music. So I'm sorry about that. But I hope. This tutorial was much more clearer. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later in another tutorial, another video, maybe. Bye.